Hi everybody, today we are back with another Set the Table series and I thought it would be perfect because today is my daughter Amelie's fifth birthday. So this is Set the Table series, birthday girl edition. We are just having dinner at home tonight with just the five of us, but I wanted to make her day special and unique and beautiful and so I thought it'd be fun to just put together an easy, quick tablescape that reflects all things girly, whimsical, fun, sparkly, but I wanna share with you ways to make your table beautiful while most importantly keeping it affordable, easy, and doable. It's so important when you're putting together your tablescape that not only do you focus on the beauty and the aesthetics, if you enjoy that, but that you just make it doable, easy, and I just wanna give you a few chips and shortcuts that I did today in the middle of the craziest back to school week um, to just save time and make it easy and simple. So let me show you what I did. I decided to splurge and buy this beautiful, just light pink pinstripe linen. I think it is perfect. Again, pink is a very neutral color to me personally because I use it a lot. And I've got two girls and I love doing girly things. So I decided to splurge and buy this linen on Amazon. I think it was 37 bucks, so not crazy. It's not being the bank, but it was definitely a splurge. But I love it. I think it is really beautiful. I think it is really well made. And this is definitely the focal point of the table. So everything else that I just already had is extra. I used the gray plates that I bought at Ikea a few months ago as just a nice kind of harsh contrast to the pink. I think it kind of gives it a little edge. And then I have these pink polyester linen napkins that I bought on Amazon. I will also link to those below. And I tied those with this beautiful rose colored velvet ribbon. Also purchased on Amazon, you can find everything below. And I also have an Amazon storefront. So if you're ever looking for things and need hosting ideas, please go visit there. These fun little star balloons I found at Target. I didn't need any helium. They come with little straws nowadays, and so you can just stick the straw into the balloon and just blow lightly, and it blows up, and then it comes with string. So I just tied it up to our chandelier, and that's probably one of my favorite touches to this table. I just think it adds a little bit of extra and elevates the table in a very easy way thing down to the napkins, the plates, the silverware. I had all of that stuff. I even had this beautiful pink vase on hand. So I did an arrangement with that. And I also wanted to mix the tablescape up and incorporate the cake as part of the decor. So I had this cute little wood cake plate platter and I decided to just keep the cake exposed. It'll be totally fine for a few hours like that. And it adds to the decor and it makes it just really feel like a special birthday celebration. And then I found this beautiful wood glass box, kind of a little terrarium at San Diego Wholesale the other day. Interrupt this video for the birthday girl coming in and getting a snack in case you think it's all beautiful and rainbows around here. It's not. There's the birthday girl. Five. Do you like being five today? Are you taller and bigger? Yeah. So you can see what's not in the camera right now that I'm showing you behind. Trash, dishes, washer stuff. So the glass terrarium, I saw, it's kind of like just a cool hurricane piece. I saw it and I was like, I need to have that. I'm so inspired by it. And I just envisioned this beautiful little bouquet and a little vase sitting inside or making some sort of arrangement with succulents that I can just keep out all the time. So I don't know, more to come on that. So my girl loves mac and cheese. So what is on the menu tonight is a very simple, easy mac and cheese, homemade mac and cheese recipe. We actually have soccer practice. So I've preset our table. And what I'm also gonna do is pre-make the mac and cheese so that when we get home from soccer, all I have to do is bake that. And I also knew we needed some protein to go with it. So I picked up these just chicken strips that are frozen. I mean, I'm embarrassed to say that, but we are doing homemade mac and cheese paired with frozen chicken strips that I bought at Whole Foods and a bagged salad. That is our dinner for tonight. So that is something that you can do that is easy. She is five, she's easy to please. She will probably just only want the mac and cheese. But for dessert, she just wanted a simple chocolate cake. So I bought a box cake and I bought funfetti frosting. And if you look close enough, you'll see that my frosting job is pretty terrible. It's hard to do a clean frosting job with funfetti frosting with chocolate cake. And I tried my best and I dolled it up with some fresh flowers and some pretty long silver fun candles that I found at Target. That's it. So my few tips are use what you have, 
keep it simple. If you have to do box cake and frozen chicken tenders, do that. Don't do everything. Um, do as much in advance as possible, like set the table in advance, I'm preparing the meal so that tonight I can just warm it up and hang up some fun whimsical balloons for really an easy and expensive touch. And lastly, just use what you have. If you have to buy anything, make sure that the one thing that you buy or purchase is definitely going to be um, a well worth your investment that you can use again. And make sure that it's something that will really pop and stand out. Like I mentioned, the table linen, love it. Can't wait to use it again, I'm obsessed. That's why I decided it was a worthy splurge. I hope this helps you enhance your celebrations.